Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany and today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial. But you probably could have guessed that by looking at me be down to the ground right now. Let me just be real with you guys. Um, This eyeliner been acting up for me since I put it on and I'm a little distraught about that. Almost threw across the room, but I didn't. I pushed through, I made it, and we're here, okay? I had to give y'all some shoulder action, some hoop action, but only on one side because... I'm not even gonna say that. Like, why would I put a whole earring in there? Like, what? what would be my purpose? Like, and this is honestly how I'll probably wear it out in public anyway. What? Yeah, yeah. I know I gotta be real with y'all. <laughs> Duh. But if this is your first time here, welcome. Hey, I'm your girl Tiffany. I don't know if I said that, but I am. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure you do before we even get into the video because you're not gonna regret it. You won't want to stick around, so you might as well. Okay, you might as well. But um, yeah. Without further ado, let's just get into this video. So we are going to start with, should I start with brows or should I start with foundation? I will start with foundation. So I'm going to prime my face with the Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Primer Smooth and Pore Covering. Yes, I'm just gonna use this all over my face today. For foundation, I'm going to take the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation and I have the shade Sable and I'm going to apply this with my Real Techniques sponge today. And this is just one pump for starters, but normally when I use a sponge, I need two pumps because I feel like using a sponge, obviously the sponge is going to soak up some of the product. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, see, so that is one pump. And then two pumps. An insane amount of this foundation. So I think I'm gonna do my brows now and I'm going to use the Benefits Goof Proof Brow. So I will, I guess, do majority of an eyebrow on here. Um, so if you guys follow Benefit or whatever um you know they have the what is it called the benefit brow search and i was really contemplating you know entering the brow search like because my favorite brow products are benefit brow products you know besides like my next micro brow um precisely my brow y'all know i will use that in every freaking video um i got the goof proof and i love it so let me know down below what you guys think about me actually entering because i didn't really think about it but i keep seeing people like put their submiss submissions in and i'm like i don't know like should i i think i do my brows pretty well you know not like the best but like i think i have like a good system down like even just right now look at the difference a brow makes <laughs> a big difference especially because y'all know i am the struggle queen with the brows so i don't know let me know what you guys think about me entering a submission down below look at the difference brows make i clean them up with my Too Faced born this way concealer should i use this on my face today yeah i'm gonna use this on my face today so i'm using the shade mocha to highlight today and honestly truly truly i'm pretty sure this is whoo this is on its last leg. I gotta go buy another one. Like I have another shade, but it's not this shade. So is it even the same thing? Like, I don't feel like it is, but yeah. my coffee got cold. Uh, oh my goodness. I'm going to contour with my matchstick in espresso. I'm gonna try to blend out my concealer with this brush today. This is the Elf Flawless Concealer Brush. Um, Y'all yeah, know I don't really do a brush for my concealer, so 
Ooh, I feel like if I did use a brush, it would be a different brush, like a, a little bit bigger. This is probably good to get like in this area, but all the way under my eyes, I am not 100% sold on it. Let's see. So if you guys are on Twitter, I don't know if she posted on her Instagram, but if you guys are on Twitter, um, then you know that recently, like the last two weeks, um, Norvina was doing a PR search to make the list, um, the ABH PR list, um, which will be great. Hold on one second. I didn't make the list, so let's just get that out the way before anybody asks. Um, but I feel like it was so good because people, you know, were supporting other um, smaller influencers and tagging them and all that stuff, which was great. But then now she is done. And I just feel like a lot of people that um, dig it on the list kind of like people change real, real quick. Like keep that same energy, sis. Like remember, keep that same energy, sis. I just feel like people like may or may not be smelling themselves and they need to sit all that down and calm down and don't put none of that over here into my universe because honey you get your feelings hurt but really out here feeling like they are better than the people that did not get on the list and i'm like i know hater sis do you do you congratulations proud of you but some of the people that got on the list really just from what i've seen just you know retweets and all that and now they feel some type of way like they feeling like they are that girl now and i'm like you should you should always feel like you're that girl because honey i feel like i'm that girl but like you ain't better than me boo so i don't feel like i'm better than you neither but you ain't better than nobody so you better calm all that down you know before you get your feelings hurt don't burn that out over here because people really be doing like the most i set my under eye with my beauty bakery flower powder I don't think I'm going to bake right now. I might. I'm not sure. I'm going to put this on with um, a sponge. And I'm just going to press that on my under eye. For bronzer today, I'm going to be taking my Morphe Bronzer. And I'm going to be taking this fan brush. I want to say, yeah, this is from Eco Tools. I'm going to swirl it around in there. I love a good fan brush moment like ooh, but I hate a fan brush for my highlight I hate it oh 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 where's my blush so I have this blush that came in this cover FX perfecter face palette and I got this in my boxy charm I'm gonna see if this is too light um, I don't know. It's it looks like it could possibly be too light, but I don't know. That's pretty. Cause I can't use whatever this is supposed to be contour. Yeah, I don't know who that was contouring, but that's not contouring me, sis. That's pretty. I think I'm gonna use the highlight too, but I'm going to do my highlight after I do my eyes so i'm going to um, go off camera figure out what i'm going to do on my eyes because i have no idea right now and then i will be right back with whatever's going on so i can show you guys how i did it okay so this is what i came up with and i think it came out so freaking cute not what i expected definitely not what i initially planned on doing i initially planned on doing some pinks and blues and purples but i was like you know every time i touch this palette i go for the pinks and the blues and purples so stay away from me sis so that's what i did i am going to zoom you guys in um First, let me tell you what I use to prime my eye. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. And, yeah, let me zoom you guys in really quick. Okay, I just had to add that powder because y'all know I don't be playing. Okay, so we're going to use James Charles palette today. I don't know if I told you guys that already. So, we're going to start with the shade B. And that is the yellow color in the palette. And I'm just going to tap that on my eye. 
and um i don't i'm not gonna blend this out at all i'm just going to tap this on there until the color builds up to where i want it to okay so now that color is built up pretty much how I like it I am going to move on to the next shade so I don't want to toot my own horn but like look at that blend honey look at that blend honey so I'm going to go into what shade is this this shade social blade and the shade daddy and those are the two greens and I'm going to pack this into my crease and this is an M507 so just a small tapered blending brush and I am going to blend this out, but not right this second. So I'm just going to tap it in there first. And I am taking this all the way to the outer part of my eye. As you can see, I'm like pushing it into my socket. And now I'm going to work around the edges and blend this up into that yellow oh so what i was saying before when um i was talking about the little pr thing and you know not making the list um i'm a strong believer in what's for me is for me and can't nobody take that away from me so that is pretty much how i had to look at the whole thing now if maybelline or if nyx was out here doing a pr search honey oh i'd be on their line okay on their line every time i blinked every time they blinked they would see my name okay on their line y'all know i love maybelline and nyx okay i love next i'm going to go into this blue shade and this the shade hold on the shade cola and the shade playground and it's those two blues mainly cola though it's the darker blue and i'm going whoops i had a brush up mm. i'm going to press this into the socket of my eye but i'm not going to take it all the way to the edge like i did the green i'm just going to take it halfway i'm going to bring it in and then bring it like towards to the middle but that is it okay so now i'm gonna go in and cut my crease i'm going to take this makeup forever ultra hd concealer and do that so hopefully pray for me guys okay so now i'm gonna go in and add the color so i'm going to take this little alamar brush y'all know who knows what number brush this is or what the brush is even called but i'm gonna go in and take b and that is obviously the yellow shade and i'm going to i probably should wait until this dries but i prefer adding my eyeshadow when it's not dry And then I'm going to go on the outer corner with the blue shade. And that was the shade Cola. Okay, and then I'm going to take that same Alamar brush and go in with a green shade daddy nope i didn't use the shade chill sis i didn't use that shade i used the lighter shade green which is social blade and patted this in the middle Okay, so now I'm going to go over the top of my cut crease with this neat what is this 
the NYX liner, the Vivid Brights and Vivid Envy. And then I'm gonna pop on my Kiss Lashes in Camisole. And I'm going to be right back so we can finish the rest of the face. Okay, so I went ahead and finished. And you know, like normal, this eye looks nothing like this eye, but it's okay. I think it's the lash right now that's throwing me off. So I think I'm gonna take my lash off and fix it, you know, once I go on buying business. So I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty powder in nutmeg because i'm looking kind of ghostly and i'm gonna put this all over my face over like my bronzer and everything just so i don't look as like stark white um because obviously i'm brown so i don't know what that's about so hopefully that do something do something does something because i did my under eye and all that so what do i have left i'm gonna put some more blush on because i feel like my blush kind of got lost in the sauce and i'm gonna use what brush what blush i'm gonna use my black radiance toasted almond blush because i don't know i feel like that'll look good with this look So I think that my Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby will look good with today's look. So that is what I'm going to go with. Let me see how I feel about it with the fan brush. Because I know I do not do a fan brush. Um, I don't feel like it's a fair judgment because I like this highlighter. Um... So it looks all right. I don't know why I don't like a fan brush. I just, I don't know. Make sure my lips are wiped off. I'm gonna use my MAC Lip Glass in Gal Friday. Oh. I love this lip. So I'm gonna spray my face again and go off camera, you know, do something about this. And then I will be right back. So you guys made it to the end of the video. And the more I'm looking at this look, the more it is grown on me. I love it. But this eyeliner is really rubbing me the wrong way. Like, and this jacket is really rubbing me the wrong way too. I love it, but it's so freaking loud. But if you guys love this look and you love me, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, like I told you in the beginning. Because if you're not, you're what? Um, hit the notification bell so every time I upload a video, which is every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, you get the notification and you can be here one of the first ones to see my face <laughs> on your screen. And that is really all I think I got to say for this video. So like I always tell you guys, I'm your girl Tiffany. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next uh, video.